Okay, so here we're standing with the Atlantic Ocean sailor Joachim. So tell me, what are you gonna do here? Yeah, so this is my boat, Estel, and uh, I'm prepping for uh, the 2023 mini transit. So this is the boat, and I'm going to uh, show you it. So we're standing on the Estel, which is a mini 650, and uh, that means that it's built for the uh, class of mini rules. And uh, the boat is six and a half meters long and three meters wide. We're also uh, limited by the, uh, the height of the mast. So you're going to cross the Atlantic. What uh, what problems are you facing doing this? Um, the major problem that we're going to experience when we're crossing the Atlantic as you're sailing alone is the limitation uh, of your body as you have uh, uh, a very large uh, sleep depth. And you're only able to start sleep for, for limited amounts of time, especially during the start and the end of the race. Uh, this is especially due to the fact that it's, it's uh, heavily trafficked by uh, freight, uh, freight ships. So the boat is only weighing in at about 950 kilos, and that means that when you go inside the boat, which we're going to do later, uh, you'll be able to see the sun through the boat. And uh, that means that the boat is capable of very, uh, very fast speeds, despite it's being so small and limited in sail size. So uh, the major difference between this boat and uh, a regular sailboat is the lack of things. We only keep the things that we really need and this is my toilet. So in terms of uh, engine uh, charging different uh, instruments and stuff like that, how do you do that? We have no engine while we're racing the boats, so we're, uh, we're having to rely on solar power to uh, to generate enough power to drive the autopilot, which helps us steer the boat while we're at the sleep. So to do that, we have two uh, Sunbeam system solar powers, and uh, each panel is uh, producing uh, about uh, 120 watts each. And how uh, how did you have you created this from scratch? This solution. Um, the solar panels are, are catalog panels from, uh, from Sunbeam, but the masts are custom built for this boat to be able to fit the masts in between the, the maximum width of the boat. So you're talking about these carbon fibers? We have these two carbon fibers, which are uh, carbon fiber mounts, which are, uh, are the, the material that's been supplied by Baxon Composite and uh, built by myself and the team. There's a lot of, of pre-made parts, but uh, putting everything together and making everything work is, is uh, usually what takes the most time to prepare and, and uh, test everything out. And, and uh, it's easy to think that a boat is, is, uh, is finished at a point, but uh, every time you go out and sail, you, you learn to, to uh, improve things and see what can be improved and you change them up. So besides the main sail, which we have here from the on sail and the fore sail, we also have uh, four different head sails that we can hoist using the bow split, which we turn out in front of the boat. And uh, they vary in size in between 20 square meters and 80, about 80 square meters in the last version. So on the both sides here, we have the main instruments which we use when we're out sailing, showing the most important numbers to, to uh, navigate and, and steer the boat as fast as possible. But we also have the GPS to help us navigate and, and uh, the AIS screen, which shows uh, as the distance to approaching vessels to prevent us from colliding with anyone. But also the uh, autopilot uh, controller. And uh, from here we can uh, switch the autopilot on, which uh, controls the boat when I'm sleeping or not uh, steering the boat. This is my custom mesh bag and it allows me to go to sleep in, in wet clothes as it allows the, the moisture to uh, just uh, go right through the bag. And while I'm laying here I can easily monitor my, uh, my instruments to see changes in wind speed or wind direction to make tactical decisions but also control the boat and steer it from here and look at all the important stuff that's going on. Also I have my remote control here which I wear on my neck when I go up and, and uh, do maneuvers with sails. So by using my AIS screen I can go through the bows which are close to the boat and uh, decide whether or not I need to make my adjust adjustments to my own course to uh, prevent a collision. So on each boat side of the boat we have water storage and a key part of making a boat like this sail really fast is by moving the weight around 
So uh, in order to compensate for the heel angle or um, the weight distribution, we move the, the water and, and uh, everything else around, which is also why we have these uh, stacking nets along the sides of the boat and also in the front of the boat to be able to keep things at that uh, in place when everything else is moving around. So this is my food storage. It has uh, about uh, 12 days of food right now and it's all packed up in, in these day bags which has about three and a half thousand calories each and uh, when you have gone through one of these you have eaten everything for a day so it's very simple to keep track of. The food is uh, freeze-dried so you need to have uh, hot water which I use my Primus kitchen to, uh, to boil and then I'm storing the hot water every day in my sub tank thermos bottle to uh, make sure that it stays warm for at least, another, for at least 24 hours. So do you eat the same thing the whole time or do you have some varieties there? Yeah, we have some varieties. There's a few alternatives of, of uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner that I go through. So uh, each day is different from the other day, but uh, I have figured out which meals that, that uh, I feel happy eating and which works well with my stomach, which is it's, uh, very individual when it comes to free stride food. And you eat uh, regular time or uh, you match no, the, it with... No, the, the times varies over the day, but uh, you, you, you adapt yourself depending on the sea state and the, the, the tactical decisions that you need to make that day. So here I have uh, two bags, both from Subtech. The first one is everything that needs to stay dry, different uh, spares and, and tools and uh, navigation equipment. And underneath that, we have the tools at the moment that can uh, get wet. Also, my uh, current coffee storage is here. <laughs> the boat is made from a material called uh, PET core, which used to recycle PET bottles. And uh, here in the hull, it's only 10 millimeters thick, which is why you can see the sun coming in through the side of the boat. This is my uh, rescue suit from Viking uh, life saving equipment, which I hope to never use along with my. Uh, lifeboat so uh, in worst case scenario you have this uh, this full immersion suit which you jump into in case of a uh, real emergency where you need to have battle the ship so this is the handy Lloyd ocean uh, row kit so uh, pretty much a traditional high fit pants with uh, Jacket. Also the dry suit for the bad days with uh, neck seal and uh, full socks. So, uh, so this is completely, completely uh, waterproof. Well, completely waterproof. You can uh, dive in it. This is basically more or less a diving suit with uh, arm gaskets as well. And how long would you survive in? Uh, say 10 degrees water in a suit like this, you think? It really depends on how much wind there is, but I know that uh, exactly exact the same suit saved uh, one of the sailors in the clipper race a few years back in the ocean. So uh, it uh, has been proven to, to save lives. So on the back of the boat, we have the orange uh, escape hatch, which we can open and uh, pull out uh, the lifeboat which uh, will then be inflated and you can escape the boat into the lifeboat in case you need to abandon the boat in the worst possible scenario. So it's designed so uh, even if the boat is turned upside down, you won't be having to, to swim into the boat to get the lifeboat out. So you can just open the hatch and pull everything backwards. So this uh, design is called a scow. And uh, the reason why we have this round bow is uh, because we tend to have the wind from the back of the boat. And uh, this design allows more volume, so uh, in other words, you can use bigger sails since you have increased stability to so sail the boat even faster. So uh, in case I ever have to leave my ship and abandon the cell, I have a pre-packed uh, subtech bag containing uh, a bunch of things, but uh, among those are a spare radio, emergency e curb transmitter, emergency rations with uh, 3000 calories, life boat flares, and uh, painkillers. <laughs>